Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to do a reading for the sign of Taurus. I hope you're fantastic. So let's see what's coming in for you for the daily. And let's see, angels, holy angels, holy spirits. What are the messages for Taurus? What do they need to see or acknowledge? Messages, energies for Taurus. priestess some of you are dealing with the spirit realm the other side of the veil uh, Pisces energy has to do with water intuition following your intuition um, also connecting in with the spirit realm through the occult or something like that it could be someone you're dealing with too is a high priestess we have the hanging man Feeling like you're stuck in a state of limbo where you're, this is a lot of Neptune. There's a lot of fantasy. There's a lot of imagination, creative um, energy, but it's coming from sort of strong intuition. Two of Cups is here. Love, partnership, harmony, cancer energy. Very good feelings between you and another person. There's a two of cups. So there's, you're offering a cup. Someone else is offering their cup. And then there's a partnership with that. There's an ace of rods. Something exciting. Something that is new. It's the passion within you is sparked. The fire. It makes you want to take action. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be a younger person that you're dealing with, youthful, creative person. What's coming into the future here? For Taurus. We have justice, fairness, balance, a wrong made right, could be a divorce or separation, court energy, Libra energy, partnering with another person in a way that's balanced. Very good. Libra is about partnering in a balanced way, obligations to people, contracts even. Seven of Rods. You're standing up for what you believe in. The person around you is exhausted. They are wounded warrior. They almost feel like giving up on a situation. That could also be the energy if they are defensive towards you. Okay, we have you, three of wands, hoping you're waiting for the ship to arrive. You're waiting for the person to come towards you. You could even be waiting for another ship to arrive, somebody else. If the person you're dealing with is too defensive or too angry or something like that. We have the fool. So we have a fresh start, a new beginning, taking a leap of faith, stepping into the unknown, trusting the universe, 
and the bottom of the deck has an ace of coin. So there is a new opportunity, a new beginning. Uh, opportunity for something new, but there's confusion around it. More Neptune. This is energy of Neptune or Venus and Scorpio, but it is Neptune. It's the subconscious mind. It's energy of the hangman. Where you don't know what to do, you can't take that step forward because there's so much confusion or complex emotions around the situation. Maybe you have lots of options in love, um, and this opportunity here would mean a commitment. You know, justice could mean with two of cups, like you'd have to make a commitment. And maybe some of you are like, well, I don't know if I want to make a commitment. Knight of coin, making a very slow decision. Faith is here with ten of swords. Maybe some of you were in a relationship or married and it didn't work out. Um, and so now you're very slow. Even maybe defensive. What is the page of wands here? What is the page of wands for Taurus? Ooh, eight of cups. Feeling like you want to walk away. Four of wands. Okay, this sometimes I think eight of cups is walking towards. When there's a two here, this means you're leaving another situation to be with a person. What is justice? What is justice? The Wheel of Fortune, Change, and Nine of Pentacles. Maybe some of you recently got a divorce and now you're single, but you're not ready to trust. Seven of Wands. What is Seven of Wands? What is Seven of Wands? Magician and the Knight of Wands. So somebody's coming in towards you. Fire energy. Five of Swords. What is the Fool energy here? What is the Fool? Why is there the Fool? Queen of Cups, Water energy, or someone who wants to show you love. What is the Two of Cups then? Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy. Okay, so we have here High Priestess again. Following your intuition with a Two of Cups. So this is being emphasized. There's something here about a spiritual connection with a person that is mostly in the spirit realm. There's, it's not in, it's not now in the tangible. What is the Queen of Cups? Seven of Wands. You could be defensive against this person or you're they're defensive against you. Somebody's defensive. Chariot card. Somebody very coming in very quickly. Could be you, Queen of Pentacles, Earth energy that's coming in very quickly, very determined. But it could be also somebody coming back to you or towards you. Okay. So basically you have a new opportunity for a partnership, love, good feelings with another person. Now, you may be walking away from a more immature defensive energy going towards a more, um, I'm not quite sure who is the new person. Who is this, who is this two of cups energy with? It's looking like a water sign. It could be a cancer. So what is the Two of Cups about? Okay, there's competition. Again, with this Seven of Wands energy, there's somebody who's defensive. There's a, an attraction. There's new information. Let's see. What is the Two of Cups about?
what is the two of cups about hey king of pentacles you hangman in limbo or thinking about something pondering it the death card the eight look at this the ace of the somebody is making an offer to you a heartfelt offer death card it will change everything could be scorpio definitely could be a scorpio here Or it's going to change everything about your, your situation. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. It could be a job too. Eight of Swords. You feel trapped or isolated and you don't know what to do. Okay, so what's coming in here for Taurus? got here passion the spell and it's an 11 so an 11 is a new beginning new passion new excitement positive energy surround yourself with positive people avoid negativity to me negativity is fear too like if somebody's Oh, this is going to happen, or this is going to happen, and oh, you know, fear is kind of negative. But I have here Goddess of the Moon, very strong intuition today, spiritual, following your inner guidance. Let's get one more. Goddess of the Moon could be Cancer as well if you're dealing with a Cancer. The thinking man and second chakra. Healer of the ages is on the bottom. Jesus. So this could be some kind of divine um, partnership where it will change everything for you if you take this leap of faith. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching and take care.